Annyeonghaseyo! Welcome to the Underpass Skate Park in Toronto. Today, I have a fun idea. We're in a hurry. We have to go to the airport, but I want my girlfriend to skateboard. Oh, you? really? Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. And I was hoping that we could actually learn five tricks in the next 30 minutes or so, and then you'll have these tricks under your belt, because in the past you did learn how to ollie. Wait, I am learning tricks? Yeah, you're learning five tricks. We have 30 minutes. You have some experience with riding skateboards. You actually did an ollie before. Dude. Dude! That was it. But I think that's all you need to do to be able to do. I think that's all you need to be able to do to do these five tricks. First thoughts, since you didn't know that was gonna be the case before when we started were, filming. When you were saying five tricks, I thought like, oh yeah, I'll just get five tricks, you, and then we'll be good to go. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just film, that this sounds fun. It's gonna be easy, I Wait, swear I on my remember, mom. I don't remember how to ollie, and plus I had skater training. These are easier than ollie. Uh, I don't even know if I can push. Okay, let's start off with the push test. Yeah, let's see if you can at least ride through the skate park first. a little bit around. Here, I'll stand in the middle and just circulate me. You're doing it! Look at you! I used to be so much better at pushing. Well, today's the day to get that skill back, babe. Uh, depending on the difficultness, we could definitely go to the grass, but this one requires you because this one requires you having your feet under the board like this, and then jumping and landing on the grip tape like this. Should we go to the grass first? Babe, I found the most perfect spot for us to train and to learn how to do this. The dick! Oh my god, I don't know what. Oh, you just, that was it. Now you just have to jump out the board. Oh! That was third try! Who is this person with the hotness? That's Sarah Dichi. That was really simple. So trick number two is actually easier and it's basically the simpler version of that, but it's a gateway drug to doing all of the freestyle tricks. So you put the board down primo and you have to stand on it primo, which is a little awkward at first. And then you just simply Boink. and you're gooch to gooch. Babe, I believe in you. So the launch is harder, but the landing is easier. Push forward a little bit. <laughs> You've been up there for a while. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get stuck in the dirt. Oh! Got this big face. Why what? Why did we leave the dirt? <laughs> this one requires riding. Since we're looking for wins and simplicity, you want to keep it as easy as possible. So out of all these ramps, if you are someone who's new to the skate park, you want to approach the smallest one. Figure that one out first, and then you can move to the slightly bigger one. And then the even biggest one. This trick from a lady is called a kick turn. So you just ride up, you put pressure on the tail to turn just a little bit, and then you go back. I'm gonna die. You're not gonna die. Also, this is good for you. Conquer I'm that fear. Be like half of this AdSense, it's like 20 bucks. I got you. Yes, that's the start. Round two. <laughs> yes, there you go, there you go. A few more notches. You can do the thing where you pivot a lot or you can just turn more on the first one and conquer it in one fail pivot. Not fail, <laughs> take all the words fail. Get it. I feel like you're going too fast. Oh, oh, come on. You're starting to pivot too early. Like as you're riding up, you're turning, but you gotta like go up and then as it's going down, turn it. This is taking you like six tries so far, and I've never done a trick that takes less than like a hundred tries to learn. So, you got this. Yeah. 
ramps, off of ramps or anything, is to learn how to just cruise off of something small, even without lifting your tail, which is the case for this tiny, tiny ramp. So Sarah, I'm gonna ask you to ride off of this. But look at how steep it is! It is steep. I will say that this whole place is in an incline, which makes this a little scarier, but worst case scenario, if you ride off, you can go like this. Just step off. That's it. You just have to survive this part. and then down it and then back flip. I got it. All right. Now this was Sarah's idea, but she wants the last trick to be an actual trick after an ollie, so it's shove it. But I can do it in the dirt maybe. You can probably do it in the dirt simpler than here. ollie, right. Yeah. But shove -its are scary to learn on flat ground, but I would recommend doing a fakie shove it. Let me show you real quick. So shove it is when you ride normal and your momentum is going forward like this. But I think it's easier to do a fakie shove it because the board gravitates this way. So when you're riding fakie, it goes with you like this. And I actually think it's easier. So I would recommend learning fakie first and then go to the regular one. Ah, uh, get it. Looking all good. Okay. I used to cruise a lot. Now, do you understand the concept of this trick? Yeah. Oh, this actually might be hard. Yeah. I was confident because I could do it on a trampoline. Right. But it's so, it's the pop that's kind of hard. Yeah. That's cool. A little body burial. There you go. Yes. You definitely have that easily. Yes. So try to jump wherever your feet aren't landing. So since they're landing on that part on the nose, maybe jump back more. Oh. <laughs> that tense moment. Oh, you got a pop on that one. Oh. Oh, good rotation. Good hustle out there, kid. Oh no, I you did it! Did it? Yeah. It's scary. Close enough, right? Yeah. All I mean, right. That was amazing. My uh, pro model is down in the description below. If you want to buy it right now, you can get it. <laughs> so the whole point of that video is to show that the ease of access to skateboarding is a lot easier than people make you think sometimes. Sometimes I'm you... terrible, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you roll, but the thing is, there's so much easier tricks than an ollie, and then straight to a kickflip and a shove it. There's hundreds of tricks you can learn. There's a lot of creative approaches to skateboarding outside of the normal ollie, kickflip, and stuff like that. So today I wanted to showcase a few tricks that you can learn easily, and that you can have fun doing, and that is really fun to watch people learn. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Did an iPhone vs Note 9 video over on my channel where he skates. So. Well, there you go. If you want to check that out, that's also there. But uh, that's Sarah Dietschy. She's an amazing YouTuber. You can check out her stuff in the description down below. We're actually about to head to America, but really fun time. Just a quick and easy video for you guys. And I'll see you next time. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, go to Sarah's channel, subscribe. Sarah, you, you're walking away from the shout out. Now you're back. <laughs> I thought that was my shout out. <laughs> okay, so check out all of the descriptions down below, especially her channel. It's amazing. Check out the video we did together on her channel. And that's it. See you guys next time for another video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, every single week on this channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, I love you so much. Progress daily. And keep killing. <laughs>